Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm up here under the car today. I'm having a problem with something and had a problem for a week or two and uh, when I changed rear ends, the brake lines were rusted over there where they mount up to the calipers. And when I went to unscrew this right hand side, the line stayed in the old rear end and broke. So I was sweating it. Well, the driver's side came out no problem. So anyway, I swapped the rear ends and I didn't have a line on it. So I I went to different brakes and I went and got a different line. <clears throat> well, everything was kosher going in with the rear end. But after I did everything, this pain in the butt right here, this brake line up here was a real pain in the butt. I sprayed it and I was worried because I didn't want to have to replace that line all the way up here to the front. I'm sure maybe it could have been flared if it was broken and bent a little bit, but I was just really nervous about it because that could be a couple hundred dollars if you got to replace that whole line all the way to the front. This is right in front of the axle on the driver's side. So this is how I had to do it. I sprayed it with blaster several times. That didn't work. It felt like you got to turn this up toward the trunk of the car. So this is down here to the ground. You got to turn this nut upward to break it. And you got to hold this other one uh, right here with a wrench or either keep it locked in. I suggest what worked for me and I messed with this a couple of days for a little bit of time at each time, but I was nervous. I didn't want to break this line. So what I ended up doing is pulling this clip out. I put a big set of vice grips on here and then a big set of vice grips on here, a small set. And I just held the vice grips on this one, just like this. And I pushed the smaller set on top of the axle. It was sitting up here right on top of the axle to there. I disconnected this right here and pushed this up because when you turn it up, you will hit here as you get going on your revolution going up to break it. Don't fret. Just keep trying. Just make sure you keep both your tools straight because you don't want to mess up this line here. Make sure when you're pushing it up that you have it straight. I have it, you know, jar jarred up right there on the screw, but it's not bad. I can still move it in and out. And when I tightened it, I used the, vice, the bigger vice grips from the top. And then I went in a downward turn to tighten it. I held the vice grips with this one and worked it on by finger and then started snugging it down a little at a time just as I was using a wrench. But I hope this helps somebody else out. Now remember, a lot of people told me heat, but there's fuel lines right here behind it. And these are quick disconnect fittings. So I didn't want to go that route with the fuel right back here. Maybe I could have got a torch to it without hitting the fuel lines, yes, but I'm a mechanic and there's ways to get it off. But it was really stubborn after 20 years of sitting on here. So I figured I'd show you how to do it. How I did it, vice grips on this side, pulled the clip, and vice grips on this side, and I held it in between this metal bracket. <clears throat> and you can either push this one up or hold with this one and push this one down, either or. But hope this helps somebody else out because I had no rear brakes and I was trying to drive the car without this. It was just squirting out. So if you guys like this, like, share, and subscribe. You guys take it easy and keep working on those F-bodies. I pity the fool.